Welcome to the Mind Matter Show. I'm Dr. Craig Pullman. One of the questions we often get from parents is, what should I tell my child before an assessment? Here to help me answer that question is my colleague, Dr. Terry James. The answer really depends on the age of the child. So let's focus on elementary school children in this segment. First off, don't tell them they're going to see a doctor. No matter how many times you try to reassure your child that a psychologist is a different kind of doctor, all your child is going to think about is getting a shot. Instead, say he's going to meet with a nice person who is kind of like a teacher. If you've already had an intake session with a clinician, share with your child that you have met the person and you think he will like them too. Tell your child that the person they meet will play games, ask them questions, and do all sorts of fun things to help figure out how they learn. Keep the experience positive. Don't use words like test, results, report, recommendations, or learning plans. Try to remember that the attitude you project sets the initial tone for the assessment. Highlight the fun, and try not to let your child know if you are feeling anxious about the process. Young children can be very perceptive about how their parents are feeling. If your child is aware that she is struggling in school, you may want to tell her that the person she is meeting will figure out why reading, for example, is hard and will find ways to make reading easier. If you are worried that your child won't separate and won't be able to sit through the session, share these concerns with the clinician beforehand. Most professionals who work with this age group have experienced those reactions and are skilled at building rapport and getting useful results. Pack up a sweatshirt, some snacks, maybe a water bottle. Most clinicians will give breaks throughout the assessment depending on the length of the session. If your child is really nervous, bring along something he is proud of, like a drawing or a model he's built to show off to the clinician. That will help break the ice. And finally, give your child a big hug or a high five when she leaves with the clinician and tell her to have fun. Remember, if you project positive, your child will feel positive.